TikTok Live, one of the many strongholds of degeneracy and desperation on the internet where millions of people pry open a small window into their lives and are willing to do anything and everything to keep peeping toms from clicking away. <laughs> While you're scrolling through your For You page, consuming 10 to 30 second chunks of mindless entertainment during the few hours of the day that don't belong to your boss, despite the cold, hollow steps of death creeping ever closer to your door, you are never safe from being jump scared by a TikTok live that seems to be suggested purely at random, despite the terabytes of information about you being collected, as we all know, by the Chinese government. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi Fi network? Religious and political extremism, children and pets with gruesome, life-threatening health conditions, and borderline, or not so borderline, graphic material are all fair game in this cowboy hat and sunglasses polluted landscape. But do not fret, for there are absolute gems to be mined in this shithole, and I Love it. Over the past couple weeks, I've been curating a handful of delightfully absurd content, and like the good mama bird I am, I'm going to be regurgitating these worms of weirdness down your throat holes. So buckle up. These two are like the twins from The Shining of TikTok Live, except they're Russian and even scarier. Their lives always involve them lying in a bed side by side together with a camera like directly over them at like a really weird angle. Pretty much all they do is just lay together and scream or chant that weird bird, word over bird. and over again and they get absolutely showered with very expensive digital gifts. Top week, guys, top week. <gasps> When you look up their TikTok handle, the first two suggested searches are trafficked and what is wrong with them. So I, I feel like that has to be an indication they're doing something right. I don't know if this is the side effects of substance abuse, religion, or both, but whatever it is, sign me up because I'm definitely not having this much fun listening to Megan Trainer on a Tuesday night. Now, a very popular genre of TikTok Live are ASMR streams, which I, I don't like ASMR, like, at all. It makes me feel like my ears are getting the frat boy treatment. If you like it, that's great. But in the magical world of TikTok, don't you dare think for a second that you're gonna get away with some vanilla shit like finger tapping and ear nibbling. You gotta give the people what they want. When God opens the great big scroll detailing the events of my tragically short and uninteresting life, I feel like they're gonna pause at the part talking about the 15 minutes that I spent watching this video, and I'm okay with that. 10 out of 10 would watch again. It's, uh, it's giving early Vine. It's giving ha ha, I made a funny face, laugh please. It's giving a little Shane Dawson. <laughs> Am I using that correctly, by the way? It's giving, I'm an old Gen Z. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my touch a little bit. Back in my day, a meme would circulate for a full six months instead of becoming irrelevant under 24 hours. <laughs> So uh, sorry, sorry, I uh, I think I just drifted into a, a peaceful slumber. What, what was I talking about? Now this next lady I've seen pop up a couple of times and every time I do, I feel like I am being drawn closer and closer into the warm embrace of Satan's bosom. It is a tiny little boy. What is this place? This one, you're the main throat. I keep on telling everybody I'm fine. I don't believe you, Bella. Bella, I don't believe you. Bella, I don't believe you. I gotta tell you that. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. 
And there's others that don't believe you either. I love the intervention of this concerned citizen. I'm so glad to know that Dave the Dark has this situation under control. Stop yelling at me! No. Stop! You don't. Do you hear it? You don't have a squeaky toy in your throat. Come on, why are you make, trying to make us believe that you do? You don't. Let's go. <laughs> I do. All right, well, I'm going to leave you alone because you're a mess and I don't believe you. And there's about 800 other people don't believe you. There might be about 300 that do. So you have a great evening and good luck with your squeaky toy in your voice. Hello. Now I have a theory about this woman. She does very similar lives every single time. She puts on this creepy ass filter and then she pretends that she's in distress over some very contrived, bizarre scenario like the squeaky toy in the throat that we just saw. But I've also noticed that she's always in the exact same position every single live. And if you've been on the internet as long as I have, you've probably already guessed why. Bare, yellowed feet, always in clear view, right over the shoulder. That's right, ladies, gentlemen, and gentle ladies, we have stumbled upon fetish content. Okay, I, I, need a, I need a palate cleanser. Man with a thousand cats, baptize my eyes with your wholesome cat friends. Let me feel clean again. All right, let's put our snorkels back on and wiggle back down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> Listen, I'm not here to judge how somebody processes their childhood trauma. I'm here to burn grass, eat ass, and have a good time, okay? Statistically, this bird man is far less likely to blast an underaged member of his flock than your average youth pastor. So you know what? Go in peace, brother. You have my blessing. My uncanny valley sensors are going off. If you're wondering if this person does anything besides cycle through idle animations and give the camera a glassy eyed thousand yard stare, they in fact do not. They look like they're holding back tears. Blink three times if your family is being held at a second location. Honey, I think our neighbor is cosplaying an anime character again. Why do you say that, honey? There's a large group of unwashed middle-aged men lining up on the front lawn. <gasps> the Discord moderators. I mean, I'm pretty covered, you know, I ain't lying. Hey, you walk up to my tattoo shop, I, I laugh at your ass, not even gonna lie. Mr. Owl, how many face tattoos does it take before a white boy is committing a hate crime? Let's find out. One, two, three. Comment your opinion down below. Or don't. I don't care. Now, there is a phenomenon going around the internet called the Bell Delphine effect. Essentially, a huge amount of femme-presenting adult content creators saw how Bell Delphine co-opted gamer culture and children's clothes and childlike imagery to build an empire of devoted simps for her adult content, and they said, hell yeah, copy-paste. TikTok Live is absolutely infested in what is known as Bell Delphine clones. Typically these videos are pretty harmless, but a lot of them have like kind of creepy undertones, like the person is using kind of a baby voice or making weird faces or dresses in a child. Like it's, it's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I'm just gonna say it. It's a bit weird. Basically it's hard to pinpoint, but you kind of know it when you see it. Thank you for guessing. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. Damn, if I had known that this is all it took to get tons of followers, I would have stopped destroying my voice and making ugly faces on TikTok ages ago. Is this doing anything for you, big boy? <laughs> Well, 
I've seen worse ways to cope with a recent divorce. At the end of the day, TikTok Live is just a brutal competition for your attention span. Users are desperate to use any means at their disposal to shock or seduce you into continuing to watch so that they can make as much money and get as much attention as possible. Which at the end of the day is not all that different from what I or any other content creator is doing. We bend over backwards to show you the most attractive, most funny, and most eloquent versions of ourselves to convince you that we are worth a fraction of your limited time here on Earth. And then, wait, 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 where are you going? Can you just stick around for the end, just one time? You, you always click off before my outro. The moment I'm not actively entertaining you, you're just gone. What, do I need more stupid jump cuts and goofy sound effects to keep your attention for five more seconds? I, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I, I can, I, I, you know what, I, I can write more jokes. How about that? I'll, I'll just write more jokes. Just, just don't, don't leave yet. I, I just, please, please don't, don't go. I, I, 